feel kind of nervous filming. It's been a while. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little different. As you may have seen on the title of this video and thumbnail, I am going to be sharing some big news with you guys and I am so excited to do so. It has been a really, really long time since I have filmed, since I have done anything like social media related. I've kind of taken a break trying to take care of myself and what has been best for me. I am sitting here today in my beauty room which sooner than later is going to no longer be my beauty room because this room is going to be turning into our first nursery. Me and my husband Brandon found out on December 26th that we are expecting a baby. Today's video is going to be about my experience finding out our story, how we told our family, and what's kind of been going on since we found out in the past couple of months. So if you guys want to hear the story, join me on my journey of pregnancy, then just keep on watching. Starting in about August, me and my husband um, kind of had decided that we wanted to start trying to have a baby. We've been married for over five years now and we just felt like it was kind of time. My dream was to have a spring baby, so June, May kind of time frame, so that's kind of what we planned or wanted. So in the summer months we started trying and unfortunately it wasn't happening and so we got a little disappointed. Family history of mine, like on my, my mom and sister, they got pregnant really, really fast as soon as they started trying. So of course for me it was a little heartbreaking that I didn't get that same outcome, but in the end it makes sense. I mean, who gets pregnant as soon as they start trying anyways, right? Like it's not very common. So we kind of just dealt with it, we were okay. We had some big plans coming up in the summer of 2019, so we wanted to make sure we were planning for that and that I wasn't going to be due around that time frame. So we kind of decided in November we would just stop trying, not really plan for anything. And I guess in December, when we stopped planning, God decided that it was um, our time to have a baby and so on um, December 26th, which is our boxing day, I was getting ready to take a shower at night. Um, it had been a weird couple of days because I was expecting my monthly and it wasn't really happening. Normally I'm pretty on schedule so that was a little odd for me so when I was getting ready to take a shower I just had this weird feeling I was alone <laughs> which I don't necessarily recommend but I knew I had a pregnancy test in my cabinet in my bathroom so I pulled it out and I took it and within like minutes like not even a minute the test was appearing to have two lines on it I started like mini panic mode like nothing crazy it was happened real fast, kind of unexpected, so I was a little shocked and I wasn't really sure what to think of it, so my husband was downstairs in the living room, so I called him up and I told him that he needed to come upstairs for something and he was all like, okay, sure, whatever, comes upstairs. I tell him to go look in the bathroom, so he does, and I had the test sitting on the counter and he went kind of straight to it and looked down and was kind of in shock as well, like I was, and came to me and was like, this real like what do we do is this happening and I was like I don't know I think so but I don't know for sure I only had taken one test so far so sometimes you don't really know how accurate these home pregnancy tests can be so he was like I'm gonna go to the store I'm gonna get you another one just so we can make sure and he came back and we took another test and the second one was positive as well so we were pretty positive that it had happened and we were expecting a baby and yeah, it was it was uh, a lot to take in. Um, we were happy, scared, everything that you could possibly imagine when you find out you're pregnant. I actually have the two tests here that say we're positive, so this was the first one I took that had the two pink lines on it and then my husband went out and bought what he said was a cheap one because he wanted to make sure that the cheap one could detect the pregnancy. <laughs> I don't know what his 
what is he thinking but um, this is the second one we took which means it was a yes it was it was positive we were excited so January started off really good really we were really excited we um, we were able to keep it a secret I went out on New Year's and Hopefully it wasn't obvious that I wasn't partaking in any alcohol. The Janu beginning of January was totally fine, but um, kind of beginning to mid of January, at like my fifth or sixth week, I started to get very, very sick. I almost felt that I had a mixture of um, morning sickness, like pregnancy sickness mixed in with the flu because those five days I was throwing up were probably the worst days ever. I stayed in bed all day. I couldn't eat anything. I could barely keep water down. Like it was horrible. My husband was like freaking out because he didn't know what to, what to do. He didn't know how to help me and I was freaking out because I didn't think this was normal to be this sick. I was throwing up like it felt like 10 times a day, which isn't normal for pregnancy, so I was really concerned. And then as that, after that five days ended, I started to feel a little better. I wasn't completely myself, but I was able to still go back to work and feel kind of normal. I was feeling the morning sickness of pregnancy, and it absolutely sucked. I was exhausted. I couldn't stay up later than like 7 p.m. A lot of women say they have more sickness in the mornings, but me personally, my sickness came in the evening. I was able to get through most of my day, and then at like 3 and on, I just felt nauseous, throwing up. Like, I am a coffee fanatic. I am addicted to coffee, and the thought, the smell, anything coffee related, literally like made me gay. It was an interesting month. It was absolutely horrible. We did tell my mother-in-law, Brandon's mom, that I was, I think it was when I was five or six weeks that I was expecting and um, she was really excited but I just needed someone to talk to, someone who's experienced pregnancy, who's close to me, um, another woman to just to talk to. She was um, one of the first people to find out. Struggled through work. I'm surprised some of my other co-workers didn't figure it out. Um, my manager did. <laughs> she could tell I was not okay, I was sick, and she figured out I was pregnant, so she found out sooner than um, most people did. But I uh, am glad that phase of my pregnancy is over. I didn't book in to get an ultrasound until February 6th. It was a long time waiting. Um, you, you know you're pregnant, but you don't actually know because you haven't seen the baby, you haven't heard the baby's heartbeat, like, you really, like, mm, there could be a baby in there, there could be two babies in there, but you really have no clue until you go to your first doctor's appointment or ultrasound. So, February 6th um, was my first ultrasound, and we were able to see the baby and realize, yep, there's a baby in there, so that was a really, really good confirmation. She did her measurements. We saw it moving, the heart beating like super quickly, it was amazing, got photos developed, I'll insert a couple on the screen, and yeah, it was, it was really awesome. Not long after my ultrasound, we told my dad the news, that he was really excited, a little shocked, like he wasn't expecting it, so that was good. He was, he's pretty excited, he's actually having a really hard time not telling people. A lot of people are finding out that I'm pregnant because of him, so like whatever. And then um, we got together with my sister and brother-in-law and told them that we were expecting and they kind of expected it because it's rare that I say, oh, let's get together for coffee this night. And they're like, okay, like it's not something we normally do on a regular basis. So they kind of had an idea and we were able to tell them and my niece was there. So that was actually like really, really special because my sister just went through a pregnancy recently in her life so I was able to like talk to her about hers and my experience so far. That was a great night and then my sister and brother-in-law were coming to town actually just recently and so we told them and my father-in-law so that was really great. They were able to find out about the pregnancy as well and they also have two children. One, one is um, about two and a half and that's Porter and Jude is 
I think only four months now. She also just recently went through a pregnancy, so it's it's been fun being able to share our experiences and it's just great having that support from the family. From then on, we've told like a few people in our extended family and whatnot, but I want to try and tell as many people as I can in person, but it's hard when everyone's lives are so busy. Once this video goes live, I will have posted it on social media. My husband will have shared the news as well. My doctor was able to give me the official due date. Um, she let me listen to the heartbeat and that was so amazing. I, whew, yeah, it's crazy to think that that little of a thing can create such a loud heartbeat. I don't know, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, that she told me my due date, which was a lot earlier than expected, so I am a bit further along than I thought. I am almost 14 weeks. When you watch this video, I'll probably be almost 15 weeks, but... And our little one is due August 28th, so we'll see if it decides to come on time. Now all we have to do is start pre preparing. We haven't really done anything so far yet. We're kind of just waiting it out a bit. Don't want to go crazy uh, too quickly. I want this experience to be, you know, not stressful. It's going to be a really, really fun couple of months ahead of us. Lots of stories to share. I'm going to be doing a nursery tour, like my hospital bag video. Like I'm gonna go the whole nine yards with the baby video stuff. Be expecting that on my channel. I will be also sticking to makeup and home stuff as well so stay tuned and we're so excited for you guys to all join us on our journey of pregnancy so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you can join me on the next few baby videos thank you guys so much for watching we will see you guys in my next video bye guys